Yeah, um, not exactly since it was the 89th minute, conceding a goal that late is pretty heartbreaking for the guys. We're obviously really disappointed with that result. Um, our response to to two moments in that match, I think, were the difference of, with us not getting three points, and that was the response to us conceding that that second goal, um, as well as the response to, to the penalty that was um, difficult. Is it? Uh, do you think the team is starting? I know because a bunch of new guys mm -hmm. playing with each other for the first time. Yeah. This is the third game, right? That yeah. You is, do you think they're finally starting to learn to play together as a group? Yeah, I think if you were here at the, I think if you saw the first half, um, it's more than learn. They're starting to get very cohesive with the ball. I thought our movement of the ball and our possession in the first 25 minutes, especially, was really good. Um, we had them on the ropes. Um, something we couldn't control kind of happened, um, and then we needed to respond. And then the second half, I thought we did that. Um, but yeah, I think the guys are really coming together. The result wasn't perfect for us, but I think the performance at moments was very good. But you want to press all the time. That, yeah. that was trouble in, in this match. They really did not allow you to get your pressing game going. Was that yeah. an, an issue for you guys trying to adjust to that? Well, we don't want to press all the time. We want to press in moments. And that was what we talked about during the week is where to press. We didn't want to go after their center backs because they were just going to pump it long. That's all they wanted to do. Um, so we wanted to stay compact and, um, and press at certain moments tactically um, with certain people. Um, and, yes, when we are keeping the ball and when we are moving the ball through the thirds like that and we press, like, they – we would have won that game 3-1, 4-1 if we would have um, continued in that fashion. So um, our guys are fit, our guys are young. Um, it's something we're going to get better at. Um, but no, for, for the most part, until they were just pumping it long at the end, it, it was good. Probably harder for you to see, but those were two really good goals that Danny and uh, and both of them were outstanding strikes in the ball. Yeah, they were great. The first one came off great work from Steve-O. Don't forget that. His movement in the channel touched it around and was very unselfish. Um, I thought Dano's composure at the top of the box was great um second second goal i mean that's what that, that that's danny collie for you these fans need to get used to that that's what he does um he he'll he'll float in and out of a match and then he'd bring something like that to the table and he's uh he's a fun fun player to watch what do you learn from this one and take into training this week i think a ton i think we're gonna learn a lot from this game because at moments we were dominant um and then at moments we responded poorly at moments i think that um, the team understands now how expansive we can play and what that does to teams. Um, and I think that we learned that, you know, we're a young team, but, but we learned that when things happen out of our control, we just, we just move forward. We don't feel sorry for ourselves and we, um, we stay together. We stay unified. We've been practicing shooting and training a bit, so uh, I've not been doing too well, but uh, that one just caught perfectly for me in the game. So it was a good moment to catch it. Uh, wish we would have held on for the win, but it's not to be today. So. Both you and Danny looked like you kind of used a defender to screen the keeper a little bit because he didn't move until really late on trying to get across the box. Not that he would have stopped it. Yeah, anyway. yeah um, I saw Danny as I was off at the time and he sort of took his time with it and took a touch and then picked it out right in the top corner. It was a great strike. And then um, mine, I just kind of came onto it, took the touch to the side and like you said, just managed to catch it sweetly. The, the defender helped definitely in front, uh, just block it away from the keeper. But yeah, I mean... It was just, I couldn't have hoped to hit it better, so yeah, it was great, but yeah, I just wish we got the win. Yeah, that was the time of the match where you guys were really kind of pressing for goals, and then all of a sudden, the, the same group has to defend out there, and it's not always easy to kind of change your mindset by that point, is yeah. it? Yeah, I mean, um, the goal came at a great time for us, but like you said, once we got the goal, we just tried to hold on and keep it, but the guys who started were out there for a long time, it was a hot day, um, they were getting tired, you could see some tired legs, and they just managed to scrape one in at the end, but yeah, it just wasn't, I just wish we won today, but... Uh, maybe next, next time we'll get it. So, What's the good part you take away from this that you're going to work with in, uh, in training this week to make sure that you guys don't have this happen again? I mean, uh, probably just need to work on our fitness as the season goes as well. Um, just working together as a team. I think um, we needed to, just just the last minute it was, it was in the 89th minute when they scored. Um, if we could just hold out on games. The defence has been great all season so far. And just to concede at the end was going. But we'll get back at it at training and uh, sort of work to defend as a team late on when we're tired and the legs are tired and stuff like that. So it'll be great.